Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, Get Going Travel. We hope our channel can help you reach your travel goals step by step. If you're new to our What About series, this series is all about the questions we had in preparing our move to Australia. In this series, we're going to be going over things like looking at visas, booking flights, and looking at things like medical insurance. So be sure to subscribe and follow along during our series. In today's video, we wanted to talk about visas. In planning this trip, we wanted to explore a lot of new places, but we also wanted to stop and spend a fair amount of time somewhere and explore the culture. This led us into looking at a lot of different visas that allowed us to live and earn money while we were living there to help fund our travel. Um, in looking at all those different visas, we landed on the Australia Working Holiday Visa. It just made the most sense for our budget. Uh, the weather doesn't hurt at all. Um, and for us, it's kind of a neat place because that's kind of where we met. So uh, it just worked out to be the best option for us. So let's start with how we got our Australian visas and then we can go into a bit of research on how we got the other visas that we needed for the stops along the way. So we landed on the Australia Working Holidays Subclass 462 visa. Logan is going to go over exactly how we applied for and were accepted and got our visas. Alright, so to get started you need to figure out what visa you need to get to Australia. So if you go to this website up here at the top, scroll down and here you'll find your visitor visas. So we were the work and holiday visa subclass 462 and there's also a work and holiday visa subclass 417. So let's take a look at the subclass 462. So after you click the link, you'll be taken to the subclass 462 work and holiday visa details. First, you wanna make sure that you are eligible for this visa. So scroll down and click details. And this is for your first work and holiday visa. So from here, if you click eligibility, you want to make sure that you hold the proper passport for the specific visa. So this is the 462. If you click details, and then you'll see all the countries listed where you need to hold a passport from to acquire this visa. If your country isn't listed in the subclass 462, be sure to check the working holiday visa subclass 417. Go through the same exact steps, click details, head over to the eligibility tab, click details under hold this passport, and from here you can see the list of the different countries where you need a passport from for the subclass visa 417. Okay, so now if you know which visa you want to apply for, you can go through the steps that you need to complete the application. So for this example, we'll walk through the subclass 462 visa as this is the one we applied for. So to get started, we'll scroll down and click the details tab. And then to figure out what to do, click step by step. Okay, step one, before you apply, show the steps. Organize any health exams. Jenny and I did not have to do any health examinations and they ask you some basic questions during the application. Also, if you need any help, there's some links here, but we didn't need help for our applications, we just did them ourselves. Okay, step two, gather your documents. Go ahead and click show steps and identify the documentation that you need. So here, you need the pages of your current passport showing your photo, personal details, uh, your issue date of your passport and expiry dates. You'll also need a copy of your birth certificate. Then check the education tab, so evidence of your educational qualifications. So what we did for our application was just basically take pictures of our bachelor's degrees um, and then posted it to our application. Make sure you check off the English language requirements. So we are passport holders of the US, so we didn't have to worry about that. See if you need any government support. If you're from these countries here, you'll need government support, but the US is enlisted, so we were fine. Enough money for your stay and to leave. So here, you needed to prove that you had enough money for your stay in Australia. So they outline about 5,000 Australian dollars as well as enough money to buy a ticket to leave Australia at the end of your stay. So when doing the conversion from 5,000 Australian dollars to US dollars, 
you get about 4,000 US dollars, including your airfare to leave the country. So for this, we basically just had to provide a bank statement that we currently had, proving that we had at least 4,000 US dollars for the trip. Next is the character documents. They might ask for some documentation around police certificates, things like that. We weren't asked for any of this, so this wasn't an issue. And then if you're getting any help with your application, make sure you let them know. Also, this is something that we didn't have to worry about. And then last but not least, prepare all your documents. So we did the online application. Everything was in English. We scanned everything together and then we attached it to our application. Okay, so we've walked all through step two on gathering your documents. It's now time to apply for the visa. See the steps here? Make sure you provide accurate information and apply online. So that's what worked best for us. We created an immigration account, attached all of our documents, and paid the application fee, which was 450 Australian dollars, which turns out to be around 315, 316 US dollars. Okay, so step three is finished. You've applied for your visa. They may ask for some further information there are any mistakes on your application or anything else. When we apply to our visas, we got a pending review notification and email, and then almost right after that, our visas were granted. So that's a high level view on the visa application for the work and holiday visa subclass 462. Remember to get all your documentation together, make sure you have enough funds, and apply for your visa at the right time. So after you receive your visa, you have 12 months to get over there. So make sure that you know exactly when you'll be there before you do the application. For us, we applied in November of last year, so we plan on arriving around October of this year. Also, we didn't call this out in the step-by-step -step guide, but you need to be between the ages of 18 and 30 to apply for this visa. Um, so you can check out all those requirements in the link in our description. Sorry, not millennials. After completing the application process, Logan and I were accepted almost automatically. Mm -hmm. We got the pending approval and then we got the acceptance, so that was really exciting. So we ran over to the printers, printed out our visa, and then started researching and booking the rest of our travels. So we plan to enter Australia in October of 2019 and our visas will be valid for one year. Um, we can come in and out of Australia as often as we'd like within that year, but we do have to leave by October of 2020. As you may have seen in our What About an Itinerary video, we are also traveling to nine other countries on our way to Australia. To figure out if we needed a visa to enter each of the countries that we're visiting, we did what every good millennial does. We Googled it. After researching the visa requirements of each of the countries we would be traveling to, we were excited to find that we actually only needed visas for India and Vietnam. For the India visa application, we followed the helpful tips from the blog Hippie in Heels, and it was awesome. You can find the link for that blog in the description below. For our Vietnam application, we followed the steps from Lucky's blog at one mile at a time. It's one of my favorite points travel bloggers out there. Um, and that was very helpful. And that link is also in the description below. So we've been talking a lot about where we're going, all of our different plans, but we also wanted to talk a bit about where we are now. Our next video in the What About series will be What About Our Current Residence, where we're gonna talk about what we did with our apartment and all of our stuff. Uh, make sure to subscribe and get notified when that video is posted. Goodbye. <laughs>